Hello and welcome to Hacks where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we are looking at Hack This Site and we're going through the realistic missions. Hack This Site is a place where you can test out and learn new hacking skills and if you're interested in the culture or cybersecurity, it's worth just blitzing through them. You may pick up some new skills. Yeah, you may learn something and we all love learning, right? So we're on the realistic missions today and we're looking at realistic number eight, United Banks of America. One of America's richest men plans to donate 10 million to a campaign set on hunting down hackers and locking them up. Please, if you can do this, we're all screwed. Can you hack in and move the money? Let's let's uh, let's give it a go. So, upon navigating to the page, we are receive we receive a message from Dark One with a need, and it says, "Hey man, you gotta help me out." Gary Hunter, one of the richest men in America, has just deposited $10 million into his bank account at the United Banks of America and plans to donate that money to a campaign to hunt down and lock up all hackers. Now, I've tried hacking their site, but I'm, not, I'm just not good enough. That's why I need your help. Here's a list of your objectives. Should you choose to accept them? Dum, 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 dum. One, find the account of Gary Hunter. I don't know his name. I don't know his account name. I was going to say because he already told us his name. Number two, move $10 million into the account drop cash. Three, clear the logs. They're held in the log files folder. I really hope you can do this because if you can't, we're all screwed. I mean, how do we know that this dark one with a need isn't, you know, just trying to get rich? I mean, this Gary Hunter could be donating $10 million to save the orphans or something. I digress. So, where would be the fun in not hacking? So, let's let's go and take a look at the website. First, though, I'm going to copy this information because it does look like we have specific objectives to complete this mission. So, yeah, they're already in there. Let's go visit their site. So, when you get to the site... You're greeted with a basic page. You've got a home page, a login page, a register page, a help page, and a user's info page. And I believe the first challenge was to find the user Gary Hunter. So let's give that a whirl. Search for Gary. We got one user called Gary. Could be anybody. Uh, search for A. You get A. But if we come back and we put a single quotation mark in there, we get a lovely SQL error saying error, getting username information from table users. So because we're getting a SQL syntax error, it suggests that the escape command we used broke the statement in some way. And uh, yeah, we should be able to inject it. So if we now do a or one equals one, Hyphen, hyphen. Hopefully, we should get a list of users. Brilliant. And now what we can do, control F and search for Gary. And you can see right there, Gary William Hunter. So if we just get the value Gary William Hunter and we paste it into our notes and then we head back to the website. So what was the next objective? Move the 10 million into the account of drop cash. So how are we gonna do that? We don't have access to Gary's account. I mean, we could try logging in his in with the password that we've got. Wrong username and password, try again. Fair enough. So, I think we're going to have to register an account to probe this a little bit further. So what I'm going to do is I did create an account earlier, but I'm going to create another one. Hacks3. Hacks3 for the password. Hacks3. And I'm going to click register. I can now log in. So, Hacks3. X3, login. So it looks like we have some basic functionality once we're logged into the application. We know that our account name, we've got no money in the bank, 
uh, your current description, your pin, blah, 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 password, password, options. Now, we need to move 10 million to, I believe it was drop cash, wasn't it? So drop, yeah, there we go. I've already pre-populated it. And we need to move the amount 10 million. Again, already pre-populated it. I have previously solved this challenge, but yeah. So if we click move money, it will try to move money from my account, which has zero value into the account. And that's not what we want to do. So in order to probe this a little further, what we can do is we can use our favorite web application penetration testing tool, Burp Suite. Sweet. So if we bring up that and turn intercept on, and what intercept does is it will, it's a, it's a, it's a web proxy. So it intercepts any requests that you're sending uh, from your browser and it will pull it through the proxy first and allow you to meddle with it and change some of the parameters before it sends it back to the server. So if we now move money to a different account and bring back up Burp, what you'll see is the request and it's a post request to move money.php and you can see we've got a bunch of parameters here so we got the host which is hack the site.org which we know uh, and we've got our cookies so it's got our username our password the content length this is all stuff you don't really need to know for this challenge your user agent we've touched on user agents before referrers so saying we're getting referred from login 2.php and then the values the parameters so we got two which is the user drop cash and the amount which is 10 million dollars so how do we impersonate gary hunter how do we make it seem as though the transfers come from him well cookies um i'm sure we've touched on session cookies and things before this is not quite the same it looks to be just passing the username and the password to it and although the password was technically not accepted on the login page what we can do is if we take Gary William Hunter and we paste this in the username and we get his dollar dollar bills which I could have just typed up and it would have been quicker and paste them in the password what we've done is we've manipulated the values of the cookies so instead of it being my username now it's saying that we're sending the request from Gary so if we just click forward and forward again and bring up the page, what we should see is objective one complete. Now cover your tracks. So we've done it. So we need to turn Burp Suite off again, turn intercepts off and head back to the website. Now we'll need to log in again. So hacks three, hacks three, now, as you can see, there's a clear files in personal folder button. So what do you think we're going to do with this? Now, we know from the challenge, we've got to clear the logs. They're held in a folder called log files. Well, that pretty much tells us what we've got to do. So let's find out what happens when we clear our log files. Let's turn intercept back on. And let's clear files in personal log folder. Let's bring up the request. So you can see here, my account still. Yep, yep. Posting to clear directory.php. But you can see here, it's going to delete my SQR files, hack3 SQR files. And he said the directory we needed to clear was just log files, I believe. So if we forward this request and forward this one, this should complete the mission. It says error, I've already completed the mission, but there you go, you will get a notification to say congratulations, you completed the mission. Uh, fun mission, it made me feel like a proper vigilante fighting for the freedom of hackers. And yeah, it, it simulates a sort of real world scenario if your authentication mechanisms were really poorly coded. Um, again, the lessons that can be learned from this is um, you can send credentials in cookies, but then you want to establish a session using the cookie. And then whenever a user logs out, terminate that cookie. Don't keep sessions active again. Uh, but yeah, first of all, we got Gary's username by performing an SQL injection. 
Lesson to be learned there is to use prepared statements. Prepared statements use placeholders like question marks instead of using the actual direct syntax. The question mark references the syntax later on so that the actual syntax can't be escaped because it's held elsewhere in a document and you're not interfacing with it directly when you modify parameters or into search boxes. Second, uh, with the cookies. Now, unfortunately, there's not much protection against modifying cookies. However, if you're, you, what you should be doing with cookies is not having predictable cookies. So the account username, blah, realistically, that should be generated on the server based on your account number. And it should be a random string every time. So every time, like if they are using that and you're logging in, and you're getting a cookie set, it should be unique. It shouldn't be predictable. You shouldn't be able to sequence it and burp. It, it just should just be a unique value inside the cookie so that meddlesome people like me can't come in and uh, take advantage of it. And yes, uh, the same with the log files, really. I mean, not really sure what to say about that. Um, input sanitization on that uh, make sure that users can only clear their own log files and nobody else's if the value of log files does not equal users error essentially um that's me roughly trying to like figure out a code logic in my head probably completely wrong but hey anyway that's all i got for you today i hope you enjoyed it fun challenge and uh go take it yourself and I will see you next time. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you found it informative, maybe you could subscribe to come back for more. See you next time where we do Realistic 9 on the one that hacks. Bye. Please hang up and try again.